In this video, we are going to be discussing some of the main issues that we need to talk about for 2K25. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Your boy, I have been watching every single build video. I can't wait for the game to come out. I already kind of figured out what my build's going to be looking like anyway. My build's going to be very similar to the build I'm using in this game. But anyways, one of the some of the issues we're going to be discussing about is randoms, okay? The wreck randoms. I know there's been a lot of new features to kind of help with that. There's a squad finder. There's everything else, which is really good. But there still has to be the issues of, okay, when, what happens when you actually get into a game? Because no matter how much 2K tries to negate the problem, there are always going to be issues with some of these wreck randoms, okay? So what are some of the issues that, or so what are some of the impl implications that they've put into the game to help us do this? Now, I have no idea because in this game, you guys will see some of the stuff that I'm talking about, okay? It's always, you guys already know, it's always going to be with the point guard, the PGs. I gave the ball to the center right here. He's going up with a contested shot. You guys can clearly tell that wasn't his first time doing it because he was cold. Now, this is our point guard, by the way. That was our PG. He's throwing turnovers. Our team is taking contested shots, red shots right here. Now, one of the problems that I've kind of realized with this game is the like there's, there isn't a, not a lot of, like, people don't get penalized for some of the basic stuff, like turnovers, for example. People don't get penalized enough for it. You know, letting your teammates score, people don't get penalized for that. You know, your teammate grade needs to be depleting, especially when you're allowing, to, you know, opponents to score. That should be a thing that 2K needs to bring back because a lot of people don't play defense in this game. You guys can clearly see our point guard right here keeps doing this stop and start thing the whole time. They missed me right here, but finally got the ball. And my build, again, this is going to be a very similar build I'm going to be making on 25. I will make a separate video talking about the 2K25 builder because trust me, <laughs> I kind of figured it out. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing with, with my build. But again, back to... The situation some of the main issues we need to talk about is stuff like this you guys can see i mean what am i supposed to do as a teammate i'm spacing the floor i'm not even doing nothing but the guy that decided to lead our team is the one that's essentially just selling the whole game so for me i don't know what 2k is going to put in place to you know stop this from happening you guys can see he's throwing so many turnovers and i think you guys can see i kept the other thing i kept doing this throughout this whole game you guys will see he's going to take another bad shot. I kept looking at his teammate grade. You guys will see I kept pausing after every shot is taken just to kind of figure out where he is. You guys can see he's still on C minus. He's been selling this whole quarter and he's still on C minus. He threw another turnover. You guys will see I'm going to keep checking his teammate grade. It is extremely difficult. Look, he's not playing no defense. Playing no defense and he's still on a C. His team, like his matchup is going off. We're losing because of him. He's taking shots like this. And this guy is still on a D plus. Look, he's four for ten, and he's just on a D plus. No assist, no rebound, no nothing. And guess what? He's gonna end up quitting because he just decided, you know what? I've had enough. I've sold the team. The team is down by like thirty. Then I want to leave the game. You guys can see he left the game. So for me personally, you know, no matter how good the game is, these changes. Because listen, let's be honest. We're always gonna run into this wreck. You know, I don't know if it's going to be rec randoms this time or squad final sellouts this time. I don't know what it's going to be. But anyways, he left the game and going back to the build I'm going to be making on 25 is going to be very similar. Okay, I'm going to be going. I've looked at the build again. I'm going to discuss that perhaps in the next video. Um, But I'm going to go for a 6'11 or a 7 footer. I think the 7 footers can hold a little bit more, but I need to see what difference is. Now, the second issue we're going to be talking about is the contest system. You guys can clearly see my matchup. He reached right there. And you guys can see, look, by the point of release, the problem with 2K24, in my opinion, is there is such a big difference between how you release a wide open and an open. And some of the open shots are so weird. Like in that position right there, I thought I was going to be wide open. So I released it like a wide open shot. But anyways, again, similar to some of the builds I've been making on 25, you guys can already see. I am predominantly a post scorer. Hence the reason why I'm going to go for... A bigger build you know six eleven seven foot but once again look at when i released this ball none of them put their hands up there's like three guys there yes they're there but no one put their hands up the hands up kind of came up very late the game registers that was open which again changes my entire shot so what 2k is doing this year is they're basically just helping people that are playing bad defense some people's defense aren't up to par now if you're wondering the build I'm using does have an 86 mid-range, you know, with, you know, silver blinders, gold mid and magician. So it's not like I don't have anything to negate contest. I do, but the game is just so weird, man. So I have just watched, um, what's his name? I've just watched uh, Kevin's video in terms of, you know, 
uh, like the contest system, it does look a lot better in terms of how smaller guards can't really contest bigger players, which I've been waiting for for such a long time. So that's a big W for me. But again, we're dunking on people. We're going to go into the post again. It's going to be going back to the one of the other sort of contest system again. You guys can see I'm going to hit him with the fade. He fell for it a second time. But look, when he contested it, his hands, bro, he's, I'm shooting on my right hand side. It, underneath my bar is even showing green. But for some reason, he got a 9% contest. I'm 6'11". The guy I'm playing against is 6'9". And that was a late, that was a super late contest. But anyway, still dunking on his people. But for me, those two issues, I don't know. Tukane needs to figure out a way to get them done. Obviously, we lost the game. Your boy lost the game. And also, talking about 2K, I know I haven't uploaded in a minute. Listen, I have been literally hawk eye in the builder okay your boy has been looking at every single build i'm trying to analyze it no one's made a build i am gonna make so i'm gonna let you guys see the build i'm gonna make once the game comes out i do think i'll probably stream on the first day so if you guys want to see what build i'm going to be making just to give you a heads up it's going to be very similar to the build you guys are watching right now i'm going to be going out on all our offense okay i know some of you guys are putting some some kind of block or whatever listen i'm going at all offense on this build because i can't be relying on teammates you guys can see when my, my when my pg left a lot of the shots or a lot of my, the buckets that i create it comes from my own creation i barely get someone to assist me so i'm always going to go for build i can i don't rely on teammates i can do my own thing but again these are some of the two main issues that i find the contest system and the rec randoms or the proven ground rec whatever we're going to call them next year Tukin needs to figure out a way to do something to kind of help them. But what are the other issues that you guys are having that Tukin needs to address? I know the builder, people are so focused on the builder right now. Yes, the VC, we we'll need to figure out how much the VC is going to be. No one's really talking about that, but I am very curious to see. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one.